Here's the punter, Braden Mann, set to do the honors, and we are underway at MetLife Stadium. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. problems right out of the gate we're gonna get a delay it didn't take long to see our first penalty of the game did it we always talk about everyone wanting to get into the game in a hurry the officials did as well the delay of game backs him up five first and 15. Swift going to try up the middle. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Now a man open down the middle of the field, and he'll be corralled right around the 34. <coughs> Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. Their first possession of the game, and they're already going after double coverage. That's a nice completion that can set the tone for things to come if they're able to keep finding ways to beat with the defense is throwing at them. They look like they're confident that they can get it done. Goff connects with St. Brown. The 30! And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Now gone. This is caught. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. Jared Goff to Amon Ross St. Brown. And the Lions will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You got a lot to handle in this one. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And he takes it all the way across the 40 before going out of bounds. Well, he gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now Hall to start the drive. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. White out to the right here to Wilson breaks the tackle he's got room to run and he'll be brought down inside the field one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. 
And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. Now White. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. On second down, a run with Hall. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. To throw, White. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hughes. And the Lions are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24 yard line. But just a lot going on there in the middle of the field, and this one winds up a turnover. Yeah, the runner crossing route here, and the idea of it is to get defenders confused about who to go with. But if you throw it too early, sometimes it's your quarterback that gets confused. Here, tight. And throws it into coverage and gets it intercepted. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. To throw again on second down. Goff. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. He's at the 30. 10, 5, touchdown, Detroit. <laughs> Jamison Williams, 72 yards. And the Lions are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Right after the touchdown to extend their lead, now maybe opening the door a little bit there by allowing starting field position at the 40. Good starting position for the Jets as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Paul on to give up the middle. Treads him with a stiff arm. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A first throw for the backup, Wilson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Straight ahead is Hall. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Now 
it's Wilson. And incomplete on the deep ball. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Let's go now, let's go now, let's go now. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Lions will take over. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given any other side of the ball. So they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the break, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Here's second and ten. From the 50, it's gone. Wide open receiver complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 30. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. They run out of the gun with Swift. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Quinn and Williams so hard to block, and he shows it that time, making the tackle for loss. On second and 12, Goff, complete to right. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Third down, here comes Swift. And yeah, this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down, right near the 24. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. Here's Michael Badgley ready for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. Badgley's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. Fields this way up at the 17, and able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. 
And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board, they begin to have hope. Wilson's throw here, going to be caught by Wilson. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half. And down three scores, a lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. That well, reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. <laughs> too many mistakes by both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure and simple. And that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game. They're going to need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Right back to Swift again on second down. A three-yard pickup on second and four, and now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Second and eight coming from the 19. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he'll get this down only to the 18. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground. Honed in on it. Trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Quan Alexander. And the Jets are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he works free. going to leave him with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him. We'll be back. Wilson going to throw for it. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Will Harris. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. This one away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. 
A big mistake last time they were on the field, tossing that interception inside the red zone and really taking away what had been a pretty successful drive up to that point. Yeah, and I don't think there's any question about it. As they head out on the field for this drive, that whole offensive unit is just thinking redemption. You know, they moved it really well, didn't pay it off. This time, they want to make sure that ball ends up in the end zone, and they're the ones... First down, and they go with Swift again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Goff now to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 36. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 79 yards on the ground here for Swift. He's got a first down as well. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. On the handoff, this is Swift. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing it up fourth down. They go ahead and snap it. Go on. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. A great play there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Lions have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And, well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Here's Wilson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way, way out there, but it'll be third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw is Wilson. He's going to let it fly. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Here we go. A 
it's Wilson on fourth down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. For this defense, CD, that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there? You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football, and look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. Throwing now. Gone. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Throwing on third. Gone. Man open. It's Shane Brown. He's got it. Finding room at midfield. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And I actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. There's gone. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. There he goes, left side. The 20. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. This game's still fairly well in hand, but I think now you, you go conservative, don't you? Go into your shell and just run the football? I think you have to, but you also have to tell your backs, make sure you're really protecting the football because you're going to run into a stacked defensive front, which is why they were throwing the football before, trying to make sure they didn't get their backs, you know, really beat up in that situation. Now, good luck to them. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So they tried to tack on two more with a match as far as who won and who lost, but that's how this one ends. Felt like cosmetics, didn't it? Just put another two points on the board, make the score look a little bit better. Maybe they wanted to run a two-point conversion just to see what they had. Who knows? But it just wasn't necessary.
You see, it's two type of people in life. It's people that wake up and wish they had it. And it's people that wake up and go get it. We go get us, baby.